You've done it. You've learned a new skill. You've started your business and you're ready to go. But then crickets. Where do you find clients? Hi, I'm Julia Taylor, CEO and founder of Geek Pack. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my top three tips on how to find web design clients. One of the biggest challenges that people face when they start their online business is how to find clients. But the clients are out there, trust me. And with more and more businesses moving online, the opportunities are endless. You ready? Let's dive in. Here are my top three tips on how to find web design clients. Okay, tip number one, you ready? Change your title on your social media profiles. <laughs> Don't freak out. I promise it works. This is one of my favorite bits of advice that I tell my students. Seriously, check out all these students who landed their first or next client by changing their title. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, that sounds great, but what do I change my title to? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I'll give you some options. Uh, you could go with web developer, virtual assistant, social media manager, online business manager, web designer, whatever you are doing, whatever skill you're learning, whatever job title you are aspiring to be, put that as your title. I mean, you never know. You might have a Facebook friend who has an aunt who just started a business and they need a website. Or maybe that long lost friend from high school who's had the same website for 10 plus years Maybe they need a new website. Not only that, but you will also become searchable. So on LinkedIn, you could come up as a recommendation for people looking for that service in your area. It's such a small and simple thing to do, and yet it can be so effective. Now you might be like most people and you might be doubting yourself and thinking, oh no, I can't change my title for this reason or that reason or for whatever reason. But here I am giving you permission to change your title. Okay, tip number two, tell everyone, and I mean everyone. If you are getting your hair cut, mention it to your hairdresser, just drop it in the conversation. Maybe you're at your local coffee shop and you mention it to the barista as you're going through the line. Everyone. All right, check this out, real story. See these right here, this shelf? So a couple weeks ago, I went to a local wood shop uh, two, in fact, and I said to them, I said, I want live edge shelves to go on my wall in my office. And when I mentioned that, both, both business owners said to me, oh, you work from home. What do you do? I told them what I do. And both of them, literally both of them, small business owners, local to my community said, oh, no way. I need a website. Can you build me a website? So it does. It absolutely works. Now this doesn't mean that you need to be salesy or pushy. A simple conversation that's natural can absolutely turn into an opportunity and potentially a new client. And tip number three, Facebook groups. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I see students all the time landing their first or next client in Facebook groups. Now I bet you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Julia, but what Facebook groups? There are so many. I'm glad you asked. Here are some ideas. You could join business groups in your area. So for example, if you live in Alberta, you could search for Alberta small business. You could join business groups in your niche. So for example, if you build websites for pet stores, you could search for pet store owners. If you wanna work with female run businesses, then you could search for female entrepreneurs. And last but certainly not least, you could join my free Facebook group, Screw the Commute. We regularly post job opportunities. And not only that, you would be in a supportive and encouraging community with like-minded individuals. We'd love to welcome you. So click the link in the description to join today. Now, once you've joined those Facebook groups, I don't want you to just sit there and wait. I want you to be active and engaging and network. So here's a top tip. I want you to search within that group for words like web design or WordPress, anything at all that's in your area of expertise. And then look for those posts comment on them, be helpful, add value, answer their questions, and just provide a bit of advice. The more value that you add to that group, the more people will organically see you as an expert, and then they will come to you. All right, 
Time to take action and it's over to you. I hope you found these tips useful. And if you have any other tips on finding clients, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel.